There we go. All right, dude. Okay, so um, this is the, uh, the login screen. Um, and with your clients, you'll notice it just has like all their updates um, from all the clients. What we'll do is we'll just take a look at how to just set up your, your own side of things so that clients get like emails and stuff like that on a, just on a regular basis and based on how you want to actually do the coaching. So um, let's go to, where, whoops, it's in the way here. So over on the top right, um, you can go to your settings. Um, all basic information, notifications is the one that uh, you might want to change because depending on how you want to set it up, uh, you may want them to get an email every day. I, I just um, I keep the settings pretty standard. Um, you get notified for when they upload stuff. And then email notifications. I don't want to be constantly inundated. That's an important one to switch. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. You know, like, it, like when you have like a lot of clients too, it's just like, it's, it's ridiculous. So um, email me an unread notification summary once a day. Um, you know, that's, that's totally up to you. Email immediately when a client sends me a message. I don't, I don't use this because I use Messenger. Even though they have a messaging app in here, too many messaging services just makes it really confusing. Um, and then email immediately when a client adds a comment to a workout. Yeah, it's just I, I just turn those all off because if not, it's just it's too much. Um, so only during my working hours is when you can get emails. I, I, I just set that up too if that's something that um, floats your boat. And then you can um, you know change all that if uh, things aren't working out. But like I even turn off like client completes a workout because it's just like it's too much. Um, mm. Like even to be honest, like updates and metric and, and progress pictures. Yeah, they're good, but I, I don't really check them. Um, cause I do them all when I do my coaching stuff anyways. Well, those are, you, you have that built into your process. of how Exactly. You it's built it, right? into my you, process. You so DQ. I don't even need it. Um, yeah. play a sound like new notifications. No, no. So yeah, I just updated my stuff. Okay. Um, then the next one you want to check is client workout visibility. Um, so I do it. Client sees workouts uh, six days ahead. Um, and, um, therefore basically on Sunday, they'll see like their, their, their workouts all the way till, you know, Saturday, um, mm -hmm. simple enough. Uh, and you can update the visibility settings if you want. Um, and that's, that's basically just so they don't, they don't have to see the whole program. Like I go through their whole program anyways, beforehand. It's just so they're not like flooded with, you know, oh, mm. look what's going on. And then you get questions too, like, oh, look what we're doing in three weeks. It's like, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Let's just focus on today. Can we get that workout out and did it? Um, so that, but that's, again, that's more coaching stuff. I just want to go over the, the, the procedure of getting that done. So is that clear? That, that's pretty. Makes good sense. Okay. Um, so let's go to our dashboard. So this is where like, if you want to check in daily, you know, whenever, man, I, it's up to you, obviously your coaching style. Um, you just go through like, okay, these guys like getting the workouts in sweet. Okay, cool. They're, they're, they're getting stuff done and you can comment directly in here. Boom. Usually what I do, like I'll, I'll do a quick check just to see that everybody's kind of going in the right direction. I do a full Thursday, like, like I, I do all the clients and just make sure they're you know, progressing nicely. And then I, I plan for the next week on Thursday, but that's just how I roll. So what I do is I go to my client list here rather than use that dashboard thing. I'm going to use uh, Joe Bloggins. Who's uh, me. <laughs> 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 and uh, so we're just waiting for things to load up. So in this view here, like this is where every client, like, all their goals, all the metrics, all them to everything is here. So I like being in this view more than like that, just dashboard view. Yeah. Um, just because it gives me just more clarity because again, like, you know, you have, the more you have, the more, the harder it is to kind of keep track. So now I'm in my profile here. Um, the cool thing is, so like, obviously I haven't been doing any workouts, but let's say we go to Monday you know, this is your coach's view. So you're going to see, okay, this is what I programmed the dude. Yeah. And in this case, like, yeah, it wasn't done, but you can put like, keep it up asshole, you know, and then send. 
There you go. And you can add in like freaking GIFs and freaking emojis and stuff like that. So um, the cool thing now, I'll show you basically um, how I keep track of like their metrics. This is the best feature for, for me anyways. Um, so if we go out of this and, um, you know, let's say I want to, let's, let's make a new workout here. So I can add a workout, I can add a rest day. You can title them. Um, everything is, uh, in this case, like it's all more or less automated. Like when you type in an exercise, it'll pop up, um, you know, with the, the video, if that's the one you actually want. So like I have warm ups, and uh, I think you'll like this one. I got my Gatsu warm up here. Beautiful. Free done. And it notice how it just populates everything here. Yeah. Done. Okay. That's something I'll show you in two seconds how to do that in the, um, in the library, but, um, you can actually do it from here too. Um, so, uh, let's, let's just quickly show you how that's done. So let's say I want to do a warm up. So, um, my warm up, I want to add like, um, kettlebell swings. Okay. Times 10. Okay. Um, I can make a demo video. Kettlebell swings, Russian kettlebell swing. Boom. Okay. So it's already there. I can just verify that the video is good to go. So these are all pre-done by, um, whatever the company is they use, uh, I can't remember, but, uh, in this case, yeah, it's CA. Um, so they've recorded a bunch central athlete. There you go. And if you don't like the video, you can be like, Nope, don't like it. You can go to YouTube, copy the link and just drop it in there. Um, okay. So any, any of my own content videos, I need to basically upload them in YouTube. Uh, correct. So, uh, that's the easiest way. Um, and, and on top privacy of, setting is, is open or closed? Well, yeah, it's totally up to you. Like for the video, mine are like for demo videos, I keep them open because it allows people to share them and view them and then get more uh, views and subscribers on my channel. And it, it increases the amount of views you get in your videos. So, you know, you're putting in your own videos. So slowly I'm building in most of the, the training yeah. videos are, are mine. Um, but I mean, I can't possibly do all of the videos. There's so many different exercises, but the main ones, like, especially uh, like some of the kettlebell stuff, you probably won't find what you're looking for. So, uh, you know, that, that's where you have the, you know, already that bank, you just use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll increase your YouTube channel uh, views, which is good for you too, because it gives you more visibility. So it's a, it's a clever way to kind of get, get that going. Um, so in this case now I've got like my warm up. It, I got the kettlebell swing, obviously you got add more, but in this case, we're just doing it for demo demonstration. And then I can save this mm -hmm. to my library. So I can call it my warm up. And then now it's saved. And so every time I go to type in my, it'll pop up yeah. warm up. So it saves like a ton of time uh, programming that out. Okay. So is that clear as mud? Yeah. Basically I have to video everything I do. Um, yeah. And it's a, it's basically <laughs> a, a, a slow, process right it's just like, like yeah. one a week one every two like it doesn't matter like the more you add obviously the the, the better it's going to be for you but you know i use plenty of videos from guys that like I, I i respect on the internet too right and i'm like yeah that, that's checked out right um and I'm not, i don't need to tell you about that so um let's say we want to do um a run and i'm going to just use a 2.4k for time now what I can do here, there's a little button. If you notice, um, it's got like a, a graph. Yeah. Like on that. Progress bar there. It's yeah. uh yeah, this is the metric um bar. So in this case here, actually I don't have any metrics set up. Oh, I'm all over the place. Why is the metric shit shifting down there? Okay, so I don't have any metrics set up. So what I'm gonna do is I go over to the side here. Um I do have actually, but I don't have the ones I want. So um, I've set up a few metric sets for my clients. They have pre-generated ones. Um, in this case, I want to do like there's a salt bike body composition. Um, I added um, soft standards, so special operation standards, and I can assign that 
mm -hmm. to apply it. So in this one, we're going to see here, these are the, it's a Cooper's test essentially. So that's just to get in. Okay. So therefore I go back here. Now I can assign a metric. So in this case here, I can do 2.4. And I don't know why it's not scrolling. 2.4K run is there. And perfect. So now that's, that's set up. So when they now conduct that exercise and add their time, all right, it'll, yeah. if I click on here, I don't have anything, but let's say my current result was like 10 minutes. So basically if, especially for like, say my, my lifts, right. I could have the yes. benchmark. Yes. Like your everything. Exactly. Okay. So now I just added a time. Okay. When they, when they, every time they add in a new time, it automatically updates. And what's cool is that you get the graph represented um, for them. And I like the change and stuff like that. Now you can adjust all of these, however you see fit. Um, so you can add in a bunch, like you mentioned lifting, um, you know, your uh, strength one RMs set up here. Um, and okay. I started doing like the front squat. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like you can add targets. So if I go to now, we've set this up, let's go check. Well, I, I just, I think, you know, a hundred percent about say my level two testing. This is very easy to, yeah. right. I can have the metrics as everything as we track. Yeah. Yeah. So you can literally set up any metric you want. There's uh, the sky's the limit. Um, so that, that's the cool thing. Now um, that's the basics essentially of um, getting somebody checked out. Now the next thing would be how do you make things like faster? Cause you know, there's archetypes for most clients. Uh, so I use programs and um, what I'll do is like when I was starting out, like I was kind of figuring stuff out as I go along and then kind of drilling down into the ones that are most effective. Um, so, you know, one client, you know, like lights out like amazing results for the first like month and a half and the last month and a half kind of trail up, but the other client was doing it all. So I just kind of mix and match. And now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm refining every time I go through. Um, yeah. And so they, they only, they provide one, which is actually quite good. It's the Wendler 531. Um, that's auto generated. Um, and if we look at, let's say this one, which I love for strength as it loads up, you can uh, assign these to your clients on, you know, however long you want to make the programs for, like it can be like mine are usually 12 weeks, but, um, this is already like loaded. Yeah. So all you really need to do, you can change like all the description here if you want. Um, you know, I, I had a few clients go through already. Um, enable active sync is really important because uh, when you change something in here, it'll change it for everybody. But if you change for an individual, it won't change for everybody. So that's a good feature because like, if you just want to change like somebody's like somebody, like their shoulder isn't working properly, you want to change it up, Yeah, yeah. change it up on their program. It won't change the master program. If you change something on the master program, everybody gets the change. So that really helps um, in saving time. And yeah, this is, um, yeah, I, I really like the one, the program, it's really good. So I was like, okay, sweet. I'm glad they built that already. Now every, every all the others, they're all done. So if you want to just add somebody, so you just go to assign to client and you just pick through your client list, you know? So if I want to pick myself, uh, so where's, uh, Joe Bloggins starting on, pick your start date. You can do it today. Boom. Notify the client, sign program. That's it. Simple as that. And then I pop up right there. So now I've got, uh, the when. So when it comes to, like you're, you're working with a client, Dave, and uh, like I see here, say you have day one, two, three, but maybe for them, they're going to do day one, day two, then they do a rest day. Like, um, do you individualize that in their own, own? Yeah. I mean like this, this very, like this here should actually, yeah, be a rest day. So I'll just add it in. So like you brought up a good point. Okay, cool. I'll make it a rest day. And, uh, for whatever reason, it's not updating, but, um, yeah, once, like 
you can fit. Yeah. Yeah. So with a lot of the clients, you know, like I, I set it up, but I make it clear, like the point is get the work in. You don't need to, you know, if you miss that day, the gist of it is like, how do you like change this up so that it's actually like workable for somebody who has like a different schedule. that doesn't fit this. Well, either that a, or say this is the schedule that we've made for, for a client. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And they come day one, we're going to picture as Monday. Right. Mm -hmm. So they hit it day two, boom, they hit it Tuesday, Wednesday comes, they, they have meetings all day. They can't get the workout in. So they're going to do the day three workout instead on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So how do you shift and adjust? You just drag and drop, move it over. Drag and drop, man. If you want to, yeah, if you want to do this, you just go. Can back. they do that on their end or do I have to no. do that on mine? You'd have to do it on your end. And so all I would do like for the extra work. Okay. You could do that. Um, you know, all it shows would be like, if you're really like, a, like, a, like a, a stats guy and you're like, ah, my number is my, you know, like are people like doing their workouts on the prescribed days? If that's something that really bothers you, then that, that'll be something that you want to do. But realistically, you just be like, yeah, just go back to the last day and just do the, the workout. It's still open. It doesn't like close them out. Okay. Um, so yeah, that would be my recommendation rather than go in and shift everybody and like, just be like, look, yeah, you missed that day, but it's still there. Just go back and do it on Thursday or do it on, you know, just catch up. That, that, that would be my, my recommendation rather than um, freaking around with everything all the time. And then if they, like, say they miss a workout, it'll just show on your end that the workout wasn't completed. Correct. Exactly. That's exactly it. So, like, if you remember, like, my, my profile had a bunch of red because I, had, I yeah. never did them. Um, but you can have a workout done and then some elements of the workout not done that are just like X. Um, and that's, that's pretty standard to, um, you know, it's like, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't bother doing it. It's like, okay, cool. And you just, I mean, like it's just, that's just the coaching side of things at that point rather than using the app. So, um, that's this part, like the program stuff pretty much, um, in a nutshell. Um, and yeah, like you building programs, you know how to do it, just literally using an app and just getting more efficient with it. The last yeah, thing I'll yeah. show you, yeah, the last thing I'll show you is basically like the library. Um, this is where, when you add in an exercise, you're like, oh, they're like, they, they like, you know, you, you think of something you're like, oh, I wonder if they have that. And it's like, oh, they don't. Okay. So either you make your own video or you find one on YouTube and, um, you can also set up all of your kind of stuff here. So this is the library of like every video and they, yeah. they, they set it up pretty good in the sense that like, what type of exercise is it? Yeah. You know, what pattern, you know, what plane. I like that. That's, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. now if you want to do like your warm ups and stuff like that, you know, like I, I put all these warm ups in here cause they don't give any work, uh, any warm ups. Same with your cool downs. You know, I added in some general cool downs. Um, you know, the, the metric sets here, um, you know, that's something you can adjust once you set them up. If, if, uh, if you so choose, and then it's cool. You can add documents, which I haven't done, um, you know, and that can be accessible to clients, uh, which is something I've, I've, my guy should probably use, but I use my Facebook. Yeah. I could but. use my like one rep max calculator or the build it back off. But I guess if I'm going to be setting percentages and like, do you, are you controlling for what weight they should be lifting every time? Like, are you inputting that in your programming or? Mm, well, usually I'll, I'll, I'll give a client a, a target. Um, depending yeah. on what type of client they are, right? Like if they're a performance client, obviously I want them progressive overload them. Um, well, I want progressive overload everybody, but the guys that are really performance based. I want to make sure that I, I'm, I keep that pretty tight. Um, so usually what I'll do is I'll be like, okay, cause they can go back and check their last result. So I'll say, you know, I want to, you know, I have like a 5% increase from, you know, this time or, do go at like 90% um, or, you know, however you want to, however you want to set up their volume, you can, ju I just write it in. So I don't control it with the actual metrics. I say, okay, today, if you're feeling it, we're doing uh, one RM testing. I want you to hit your uh, one RM and then I build in their warm up, and then um, they had, they know what their, because of their metrics, they already know what their one RM was like. You know, a month but ago. do you, so when you set the target for specific weights in certain days, mm -hmm. do you put that in the program or do you put that in the metric tab? No, I put that in the, well, you can, you can do both. So you can put your target in the metric 
And so it'll show how far off that individual is from their target. So you can do that. You can do it that way. Or when you're programming, you'd be like, look, um, you need to be like here. So I want you to be, you know, lifting X amount of weight and just write that in. Um, mm. And then they'll write in if they got it or not by their, their load. Um, you know, if it, you know, they're supposed to do a 225 bench. Uh, I only did 220. Okay, cool. Put it in. And then like, that's, a, that's another um, bit of data that you have. So do they, and do clients, is there capacity for them to upload video of them doing of course, it? Or they just... Dude, of course. Let's check out some videos, man. Let's check out some videos. <laughs> okay, so I know I've got, um, let's go to the dashboard. Oh yeah, tons of video, because this wouldn't be possible without the video. Um, because I wouldn't be able to um, figure out you know, proper movement patterns and assessments and stuff like that without yeah. having a two-way communication. Um, so, um, yeah, so they can uh, upload pictures, you know, that's, um, you know, um, one of their wristband or their watch yeah. type devices. Here we go. So this is just, um, just an assessment of like midline control, um, in the front rack position. I just want to make sure he's able to keep his ribs down and keep a nice stable position. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can upload, like, I don't know what the limit is, but you can upload pretty long videos, but I mean, usually it's, you know, a few seconds. Um, and do they, do they upload through the app or a web? Both. They can upload, um, like, through iOS app. Um, okay. they, can, they can upload there. Um, and then I've used both because I was a client with the, um, the web-based app or the web-based yeah. uh, service on my phone always worked really well for me because I had an Android phone, but now I have an, um, an iOS device. It works well there too. It's just, it's a, it's a bit easier when you're using the app because just the formatting is nicer, but the, the whole, do you, um, do you record in the app or do you record? No, separate? no, no, no. I record. So what I, I, yeah, I record separately and then upload to, um, when I'm using the, um, when I'm using the app and stuff like that, rather than record directly in the app. But there actually, there isn't a function you can, you can't record directly from the app anyways. Okay. So, yeah. And that's, that's really it in a nutshell, man. Everything else is like nitty gritty. Um, you know, if let's say I go to a client and I go to, uh, go to Joe Bloggins again and I go to his main dashboard you're going to have kind of like the whole breakdown of the individual, which is good because obviously you want to check in from time to time. And then obviously have like their, their, their goals and that'll all show up and their progress pictures. So it's, it's good. Plus you have a record of any communications you have through the messenger app mm. um, yeah. in there as well, if you decide to use it. Um, so all in all, it's been, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been the best thing since, uh, you know, since I got into online coaching because it just made things so much easier than spreadsheets and communicating by email. Right. So, um, if we just go to my profile here. Yeah. Like I use, you know, Facebook private groups mm -hmm. for a lot, but definitely having something, um, to better track and, and be able to implement and like, just keep everything organized Yeah, would obviously be, uh, be much better for my end. Um, and to have greater oversight. So yeah, th there's definitely going to be a lot of, um, so the only way I guess to see this from a client perspective would be to download the iOS app and to play around with it. Right. Yeah. I mean like, um, I can do just a quick video, um, and, um, and share it from the iOS app. Um, essentially, you know, the, you get, you have an upcoming and a past toggle. And yeah. you have messages and you have like your account overall and you can see like your goals, um, your metrics, progress pictures. So it's really slimmed down. Um, and basically all you want to see is your workouts. So you click on the day and then you open it up and it's got all the videos and everything that you could possibly need. Um, and you know, once you hit begin, you, you get started and uh, you can look at all the different videos. So it's, it's pretty intuitive. Like when you're doing the, when you're using the, the web-based app or the web-based, um, you know, uh, site on your phone, it looks exactly like this that we see right now mm -hmm. without all the coaching stuff. So it's just, um, it, it's really just slim. That's slimmed down. 
um, but it's the same interface. On the app, it's got a sleeker interface um, for iOS. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I got a guy that I'm gonna get him to install it. Okay. And I gotta play around with this this weekend. I can add a new result here. Oh, let's see. So when you record videos, I guess you try to keep them pretty short when you're giving a, a video for a client or? Um, so I'll give you a great question. Um, so let's go to and add one in. Workout calendar, boom. Rather than go to my YouTube page, I got a bunch of different videos here that um, I put in some of them, like, you know, like I have like a morning flow. Well, that's like two and a half minutes long. Just watch and do, watch and do it, you know, kind of thing. Um, yeah. The um, the actual exercise demo, yeah, I try to keep it as, as short as possible, like a few seconds, but um, depending, it may change. So let's um, add a workout here. And I'm... I, Kettlebell. Um, Let's see the kettlebell snatch. Uh, or your, your own. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm just, so this is just the kettlebell. I, I call it a kettlebell around the head because uh, like some of them don't like I, is there terminology for it? I don't know. So I just, I just film what I want the guys to do. And um, so this is on my YouTube channel. Look at you, Mr. Hard to kill branding. Yeah, man. That's it. simple as that uh so what's that 20 seconds yeah yeah so yeah so th therefore you get you know x amount of people watching your video x amount of times it's good for you know i mean you're not gonna you're not gonna become a youtube star but um you know it's that it's that added you might as well use what you have to kind of promote uh, a little bit more hmm. your page and stuff like that. So, yeah. You so can if, if you were to make a video, do you know that if you were to make a video private uh, in YouTube, so say I don't want the general public to see it, but I want my clients in my base to have access to it, would I be able to link from here or no? Yeah, of course. Um, so like on your YouTube, you just keep it unlisted. And then if somebody has a link, they can watch it. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just, you just make it unlisted. Yeah, so it's some of the stuff I have unlisted because, you know, if it's like a seminar or something like that, I, I don't want everybody to have access to it. You know, yeah, yeah. there's something that I want, you know, something in return. So like an email address or you're a client of mine, like, you know, you don't give away everything. So therefore it's, um, it's kind of like a premium type thing. So yeah, absolutely, man. Um, and you just play with it in YouTube studio and stuff like that. You'll, you'll figure it out. No problem. So that's, um, that's it, man. That's, that's really all I use. Oh, one good thing too is, um, uh, planning. So like you can set up a skeleton and then you can just drop in like, you know, for whatever they're doing. Really, it's just like, you know, if you're doing, you know, hinging and squatting one day and like pulling and pushing mm -hmm. one day just to keep an idea. And then it, it shows in the workouts. So like, let's say you're planning like week by week yeah. and um, you're adjusting on the fly. At least it gives you the, oh, it's like, oh, wait, yeah, this is a hinge squat day. And you're not like throwing in a bunch of pushes for whatever reason, because you actually have to yeah. set up. So. Well, most, most of my, like most of the way that I do programming now is I don't adjust. Um, like it doesn't vary much on an individual week to week basis. Like I'll make a plan um, basically looking like what one week is going to look like. And then that the only time that that's really going to change too much is, for kettlebell sets, obviously that will change and for heavy lifting, but you'd be using, say, a build up back off for something else. Um, so there, there isn't as much variety or variation week to week. Um, you know, obviously like over the course of, you know, four to six weeks, I'll switch up the program, but for the most part, things will stay consistent. Cut. Cool. So yeah, um, either way, I, I, I you know, I, I, I will see that there is a great amount of flexibility that can be had here, which is good. Um, seeing whether that makes sense. And can you, when you do your programming, is it easy to load in supersets? Oh yeah, like there's a, actually, there's a- 1A2B, 1B2. Yeah, there's, there's a function, a function with supersets. Okay. So, um, you know, look, if I add this, plus, say I do a pull up. Yeah. And then there's literally a button here, boom, superset. So it goes A1, A2. 
Oh yeah, perfect. And then I can add a third and superset, superset, superset. Yeah, yeah, abs- uh, of course. And then, yeah, and circuit. then, like you have the circuit button. So rather than it just be one exercise, like you can type in like yeah. Tabata circuit, and then like you know you can type in all your stuff. So like pull ups, and then you put your video in here. Pull ups. Uh, oops. Pull up whatever real portal. And so, and then you, you just add in for your, your circuit, your everything. So you can do like the super setting here. And then at the end, you want to do like a, you know, just a regular kettlebell circuit. Yeah. Just drop in what the kettlebell circuit is here is in here. And when you name it too, um, that's one thing I haven't done well is that when you name it, it should remember it as well. So you can, um, you can use it again, but you use, um, if you make a little, like yeah. a gymnastics core circuit. Yeah, yeah this is good. It, it will, like you said, I, I see the, it's going to take, like I think about right now when I build a program, um, you know, I write it out, I send it to the client and then I'll do an hour walkthrough. And in the end, uh, is it going to take me in the beginning? It might take me more than an hour to record all these little videos and upload them you know, to YouTube and to get them there and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But this process will only be made easier as I go along. Right. It's all, like, all that front end work. Don't let it go to waste, man. That's, that, that's the, the key to, to scaling everything. Yeah. Is that your front end work. Yeah. It's, it takes hours to do it all, but then it's, you have it for life and there's, you know, the sky's the limit after that. And then you just keep on adding to the bank. So this is, yeah, this is the best way so far. Um, you know, there's other ones out there too. I just don't know them. You know, I'm sure they're just as good. Like there's train heroic. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. They're all the same thing. Uh, essentially yeah. like they're trainer just, eyes and yeah. trainer eyes. Exactly. They're all the same thing. So, um, I got linked in with this just cause my coach was using it with me. So I was like, ah, I know how to use this. Okay, cool. I'll just use it in my phone. Mm-hmm. So, uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, I just want an Android app. Yeah, man, I'll hassle them. Hassle them. <laughs> like, yo, true coach bitches, give me my app. I'm hungry, mm-hmm. thirsty. I want that app. I, 